My Pillow CEO Mike Lindell crashed Donald Trump crashing a wedding at Mar-a-Lago to deliver an interview with the production value of a VHS hostage video and questions so gentle they're close enough to being a shoulder rub that I was worried it was going to finish with Trump getting a happy ending from Tom Selleck's slow cousin. The only thing more nervous than Mike Lindell is the chair Trump is sitting on. If you listen close enough, you can hear the legs starting to give. Mike Lindell streamed the pre-recorded interview on his website, which was plagued with buffering issues, and he also made it available on his Roku channel until it completely crashed and nobody could watch it. Brandon, because I don't about this Roku thing. So I go to my TV tonight, and where do I find Roku? You already have a TV with Roku built in it. So I got to go buy a little Roku box. So choose that you want to add it to your home screen. And where do I find Roku? You know you've hit rock bottom when the lead in to your comeback interview is American Borat selling yard signs. Tonight in about five, ten minutes here, uh, well, real close, we're going to be having the uh, the interview with our real president, Donald Trump. But I wanted to come in here. There's uh, these yard signs. This is not Frost Nixon. It is slow sell it Cheeto. And I tried to use my notes, and then I finally I just put the notes down, and we just started talking like we like we do uh, uh, um, in uh, like uh, a brainless mumbling pillow salesman that used his one genie wish to sit in a hotel conference room with the worst president of all time. Historic. I assure you, this does not have great and lasting importance. I didn't make those. Th those look like a, something out of a sketch or something funny. That's them. That's their production. This is what you get from the biggest broadcasting place ever. You have a gift of problem, solution, and what it would manifest to. And I think that that's, uh, you know, that's why I thought that you'd be the best president ever when I left that office. And Problem, crowd size. Solution, get Sean Spicer to yell at people. Problem, Vietnam War. Solution, fake bone spurs. Problem, Path of Hurricane Dorian. Solution, Sharpie. Problem, Stormy Daniels. Solution, lie, deny, payout. Problem, Taj Mahal. Solution, bankruptcy. Problem, lost the election. Solution, pretend you won. What does give you the emotional th strength to handle it all? Ignorance, Adderall, and steroids. Well, you know, it's interesting you mention people because I've had some disloyal people and we always do through life. Mike asks Trump about emotional strength and Trump answers with, well, you mentioned people. Trump goes on to ramble about loyalty for a long time before Mike gets him to circle back. Doesn't but, sell but, but, but I mean the emotional strength. What, where do you get the emotional strength from? Because we pray for you all yeah, the time to have people that. Ask, people ask. Uh, Mike really wants Trump to say that he prays. But Trump doesn't use his imagination to talk to God. He wouldn't waste it on that when he could be thinking about Ivanka on a beach. Um, you know, my whole life, I didn't think politics affected me at all. And one of, the, one of the things that you've shown us all is that it affects almost everything in our lives yeah. that politics do. How do you go through life not thinking politics affects you? How, and how is Mike just learning this now? It affects people. America is a laughing stock all over the world. Says the delusional man in a conference room being interviewed by Tom Selleck's slow cousin that sells bad pillows. When you have millions of people pouring in, we have no idea who they are, just pouring into our country. They could have finished the wall in two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy, they're working on it, and he just, he just went over it. They're like, hey, did that guy just go over the wall that we're building that's not doing anything, just costing taxpayers millions? Mexico did not pay for any of that. But I'm going to ask you a question that you probably haven't been asked, and that was, was running, is running the country, was it, was it what you expected it to be? Or was it like when you were running your business? That came out as smooth as the Egyptian cotton sheets Mike says are made in America. Trump never answers the question. He just continues to ramble. I thought everyone was saying socialism's come. We've skipped right over it to communism. Yeah. You know. I, I really agree with that. If you look at the press, the radical, mm -hmm. the, it's become a radicalized press, but right. we don't have freedom of the press anymore. Mm -hmm. Trump declared press the enemy, took away press passes, tried to get journalists banned from the White House. And you're absolutely right. That's the first step toward communism. Right. Well, according to Karl Marx, who did write the Communist Manifesto, 
that's not the first step or one of the first steps to communism. Now Lindell and Trump discuss losing his social media. I mean, that had to be, at least for me, I'm going, this can't even be real. They take away the president's voice yeah. and millions of us. It's belief or was it a, you know? So I had hundreds of millions of people too. Yeah. We had an A with, <laughs> you're, you're not, they always, so I had hundreds of millions of people too. Yeah. We had a, so I had hundreds of millions of people too. Yeah. We had a tremendous, whether it was Twitter or uh, it was Instagram, Facebook, mm -hmm. yeah. I had. For a man that says he's never had a drink in his life, he really sounds like the drunk guy down at the pub. Hundreds of millions of human beings. Do you think that all that could have happened without the corrupt media? I mean, that was the big cover-up, wasn't no. it? No. If the media were not involved in this cover-up, and they were involved together, it was collusion, oh, yeah, yeah. because they were communicating together. Mm -hmm. I remember they used the word, it was a manufactured something. So the media was not involved, and they were also all involved together. Remember, they used that word, manufactured something. I can't remember that word, but they used it. Remember that word. Remember, we didn't have fake news until this guy. Uh, you've compared it to a robbing of a diamond store. And uh, um, they, were, they were caught. And we had enough evidence, I believe, to pass it out to 300 and some million people. Here, you take yeah. a piece, you yeah. take a piece. And everybody went to prison for life. Reminding someone about that dumb thing they said and then adding in your own nonsense does not make it a question. I'm still hoping that chair leg gives out. And I, I say it's like two buckets. You have a bucket here, but everyone that knows it was rigged, everyone knows what happened. Yeah. Back then, uh, Dem if Democrats are going, hey, even though they're on the, they're on the um, winning side of a rigged football game, yeah. they're going, they don't want to believe it. Now, even 35% of them, them say it was a rigged election. What are you talking about? Where's the other bucket? What's going on with this football game? Are you mental? Yes. I can count on two hands, if that maybe one hand, of the politicians that have the people's back like you do. Yeah. I just get excited anytime Mike Lindell mentions counting. They will be made unconstitutional. That was A. B, declare the November 2020 election results unreliable and therefore void. Number C. Number C, number C, require a new election across the board. President, I kept telling people, everybody loves our president. Some just don't know it yet. Yeah. And what was happening is, <laughs> here's, here's a bucket of people, the stuff you did. Six minutes later, and we're back to the buckets. And why does he keep saying buckets? It's basket, basket of deplorables, accurate. The real total is you got over 80 million votes. That's fact. I've got that. That's fact. Over 80 million. Saying something is a fact doesn't make it one. Yeah, this is Mark. Uh, I just would like to say that was a great Can't job. Can't even turn off his ringtone. I would like to Best broadcasting place if, uh, ever. If, uh, we're going to get to it. Get it gone. We're gonna, Michael, I've said we're going to melt down the machines and use them yeah, into prison bars. It's very interesting. <laughs> it's a very good idea. You know, going to be pretty funny when Trump ends up in jail and he's sitting there one day and he's like, "Wait, uh, I want to tell you something. The bars, they're they're not iron, they're not lead, and it's not because I'm a builder. It's because uh, Mike Lindell he took the voting machines and their plastic and their microchips and he melted them down, and that's what the bars are made of. It's a trick." You just gotta, you just gotta punch them and they'll break and we'll all be free. I had the uh, cyber symposium getting a little head here, but when I had that, afterwards, nobody won the $5 million prize because it was all evidence from the 2020 election. Yeah. Bucket of unicorn wank. And on inauguration day, and on inauguration day. Good old inauguration day. You're well, a great I'll, patriot. I will say this, what I've learned, it's... What's that? Yep, yep, yep. Why don't you edit this out? These are the things you edit out. I mean, you are the biggest broadcasting place ever. You have software. You could edit this out. You know, you're going to lose Texas at some point. The most, the and most you votes, didn't really lose it. Right. The most votes were California number one stole and yeah. Texas number two, Florida number three. I like that he said stole in front of Trump because he planted that in his brain. And you know, Trump soon will be saying the election, the election was stole. It was stolen. Everybody knows it. It was stole. And I, I want to thank you, as millions do, for being the greatest president we've ever had. Well, thank you, and uh, Mike. we appreciate you it's so really much. It's really an honor. And was that awesome or what? Thank you all for watching. Was that awesome or what? No, no, it wasn't. 
All of these things go back to they stole our country in a cyber attack. MAGA tears. M for Trump reinstatement by Thanksgiving. MAGA tears. If you watch this guy, you have no Brian. MAGA tears. I hit play on this video only because Mike's name was in the title, but now I see what this channel is all about. MAGA tears. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check me out on Spotify. I've played in 35 countries. I've done several theater and arena tours with Jim Jeffries. I have three albums there. You can stream them for free. That's a pretty sweet deal. Also, you can support the show by checking out my merchandise. You can grab an ABD, a Stoled, or a Channel mug. They go fantastic with those MAGA tears. If you want to have a friend roasted or congratulated, I do personal videos on Cameo. Thanks again for watching. Life's short. Have fun. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.